A year ago, a little-known Chinese company made a big impression at Europe's biggest boat show with its bold, bright red 31-foot Master Blaster. It turned heads, but it didn't open wallets. One year later and the company is back with another model, this time a little bit smaller, but also with some significant differences, not least of all her price. The 31R was a full carbon construction with a price tag of more than $100,000 to match. The smaller 28R is a much simpler construction with a price tag of just £35,000, including VAT. Is that really possible? But dropping the price hasn't meant a drop in quality. In fact, she's pretty well built throughout. The starting point for the Far East 28 is that she's a much, much simpler boat than her sister ship. For starters, her fin keel and her rudder are the only two parts of the boat that use carbon fibre. The rest of the boat is resin-infused glass fibre laminate, a sandwich laminate. Her open cockpit, fractional rig, retractable bowsprit and contemporary dreadnought bow means that she's every bit the modern sports boat in the size range that's starting to take off. Her deck layout is a modest affair where the jib cars are on pinstock tracks rather than having lines to haul the cars back and forth. And there's more. She has a lifting keel, a slim beam of 2.7 metres and a weight of 1300 kilos, all of which means that she can be towed easily with a decent sized car. So while she might be a simple boat, she's actually a pretty potent boat downwind. In 8 to 10 knots of breeze, we were going downwind steadily at sort of 9 to 10 knots. That's pretty impressive. Her sail plan is also a modest affair, particularly when you compare her with the more grunty FAR 280 or the CNC 30. And her asymmetric kite is launched from the offset companionway hatch rather than a shoot on the foredeck. Upwind, she slipped along at around six and a half knots, but whether uphill or down, she seemed to know her way and slipped along with ease. And with more than 40 boats built and 70 due for export, it looks like the Far East company have struck the right formula. So is it possible to produce a 28-foot sports boat for a third of the price of the 31-footer? Looks like it.